peace of Allah be upon you all, dear colleagues, students, and listeners. I hope you'll enjoy our lesson today. It's me, Ahmed al Desuki, teacher of English for secondary stage. Third year, Unit 10. Places of counselor interest. Let's have a look at new vocabulary. I'll read the sentence and I'll focus on the word to know, then you'll you'll uh, see the, the word translated. The temple. The temple is supported by massive columns, 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 columns. The pillars, the pillars in the center are purely ornamental pillars, pillars. Guess the meaning. The plans looked very elaborate, elaborate, elaborate. The countryside in this region is very picturesque, picturesque, picturesque. Wonderful. Shakespeare was not contemporary with Dickens, contemporary, contemporary. Dinosaurs have been extinct for millions of years. Extinct, extinct, died out. Look, columns, pillars, elaborate, picturesque, contemporary, extinct. This vocabulary is very important. The color black is traditionally associated with, you can say associate or associate, associated with Morning, morning after death. Associated, associated with. Means related to. Epson, the dramatist, is one of the most prominent, prominent playwrights, playwrights, playwrights. Dramatist. A thousand balloons were released to mark the event. Mark, mark. Noun and verb. The archaeologists excavated an ancient fortress or fort, fort, fortress. Archaeologists, archaeologists. People on the tour will be guided by an expert on, expert on in at archaeology, archaeology. The science of excavating monuments. She de dedicated her life to helping the poor. She dedicated or devoted her life to helping the poor. Dedicated. Ruins. An earthquake left the whole town in ruins. So associated with playwright, Mark, remember before answering the questions that followed. Archaeologists, archaeology, ruins, dedicated or devoted to. The piece of wood has been carved into carve, carving, carve and carved into the shape of a flower. Carve. The fort or fortress was under attack of three days. Fort, fortress. The people try to keep the old traditions alive. Traditions, tradition. The Eiffel Tower is a famous landmark, landmark. The hospital was named in honor of, in honor of its principal benefactor. In honor of. The temple is supported by massive columns. Temple, temple. So carve, fort, fortress, traditions, landmark, in honor of, temple. The pharaoh's tombs were full of mummies, mummies, Mummies. A lighthouse, a lighthouse marks the entrance to the harbor. Lighthouse. There is a great myth, myth that all sports players are stupid. Myth. Hercules, born with incredible strength, 
or strength and stamina was a legend, legend, legend. The police have unearthed, unearthed a human skeleton, means discovered, unearthed. The city has an exceptionally rich heritage of historic, historic or historic buildings, heritage. After the bank robbery, they lay up in a basement, basement for two weeks, basement, basement, or cellar, cellar. Archaeologists have dated the fort to the reign, the reign of Salah al-Din, reign. Ramps, ramps have been built to ease access, to make it easy to ease access for the disabled. Ramps, ramps. He was on an expedition to explore the Antarctic, Antarctic expedition, expedition, explore, explore. A recent find or finding or discovery of ancient artifacts, artifacts is on display at the local museum. Artifacts. The Australian Aboriginals, Aboriginals are a peace loving race who live simply off the land. Aboriginals, Aboriginals. So basement or cellar, rain, ramps, explore, artifacts, Aboriginals. He had made two expeditions to Spain to study wild plants. Expeditions, expeditions. The forest is home to, home to a wealth, a wealth of wildlife, home to. All in all, means in general, it has been a great success. All in all, all in all, on the whole, in general. Images of deer and hunters decorate the cave walls. Images. What are the seven wonders of the world? Wonders, wonders. Historians are trying to decipher. Decipher means decode, the opposite of code, the meaning of the documents. Decipher, decode. So expeditions, home to, all in all, images, wonders, decipher, decode. As I told you before, the best dealing with the vocabulary is to guess the meaning in English first, and it will be much easier and can be remembered afterwards. Let's have a look at uh, exercises on vocabulary choices. So I hired first. I hide the options to focus on the meaning and to guess the answer sooner. Cairo has some very streets, streets. You describe streets named after famous men. Cairo has some very picturesque, nasty, ugly, unpleasant. I think the answer is so clear because Nasty, terrible, ugly, terrible, unpleasant, and you are describing the beauty of Cairo. So it's picturesque, wonderful, picturesque. The Eiffel Tower is the most famous in Paris. Eiffel Tower is what? Landscape, landslide, landform, landmark. Can you guess? Land, 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 land. It's not. Oh, landmark. Bravo. The statue, not statue, the statue of De Lesseps used to stand on uh, uh, what? And uh, the entrance of the Suez Canal. Stand on a, a, a column, attraction, a attraction, a temple, a port. So you can exclude attraction because it needs a, a, not a. A column, a temple, a port. Stand on a column, a column, a base of concrete, the of Isis, not Isis, Isis and Osiris, Isis and Osiris, Isis and Osiris, can't be believed, but it's a form of our heritage, so it's not true. Myth, wisdom, museum, temple, sure, it's myth, myth cannot be sure or true. The of Alex was used to guide ships, guide ships, the answer is here. In the past, guide chips. What? Where is the guide? Lighthouse, light place, lightning, light home. Sure, it's lighthouse of Alexandria. 
So easy, isn't it? The lighthouse, which was one of the seven wonders, was was what? By an earthquake. What happened to the lighthouse? Something terrible because it's earthquake. Collapsed, erected, constructed. Erected is similar to constructed, so it's either collapsed and destroyed or destroyed. I can hear your answer. Oh, it's collapsed. No, no, my dear. Collapse is intransitive verb, can never be used in passive form, so it's destroyed. The similar meaning. The of the ancient kings and queens are found on the walls of ancient temples. The what? The photos? Photos. Where is the camera? Images? Clothes? Shoots. It's not hanging out on the, the closet. So it's images. Images. Tour guides have to study. Study what? Before getting a good career in tourism. Study archaeology, biology for monuments, technology, arachnology for spiders. Oh, it's archaeology. The science of studying monuments and historic places. The synonym, the synonym of pictures. Pictures, something good. Pictures. Offense, oh, terrible. Elegant, chic, attractive, dreadful. So it's either elegant or attractive. I can hear your answer. It's attractive. You are elegant in your clothes. A uh, wind. You describe the wind. So take care. Has come from the north. Made our weather. It's very good, very cold. The worthy, northern, north, northerly. When you deal with the direction, you don't say, oh, it's northly, northly direction of the wind. There are some places in the Great Egyptian Museum are to show giant statues are deduced, painted, dedicated, commented. It's sure, dedicated, devoted. It's a gift, sure. Wonderful have been set in front of the museum to decorate it. Wonderful what? Sculptures, plants, channels, presentations in front of museum. So it's sculptures like statues, but it's more modern. Most people who the villages work as farmers, people who what? Exhale the villages, exhale, breathing, live, inhabit, inherent, it's inborn, no, it's Live, oh, leave the village. Oh, no, 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 live in. So it's inhabit. Inhabit means live in. I have some old photos, photos of my grandfather in an old box. I came across, came around, came out, came in. When you find something by accident, it's come across. Archaeologists have dug, dug what? Dug ancient mummies which are bodies preserved in the coffins, coffins. Dug into, dug in, dug up, dug on. It's dug up, dug up. The antonym of myth, myth, the opposite of myth, myth, legend, reality, fable, superstition. <laughs> it's reality because legend is similar to, to myth and fable and superstition. Eating salty fish, the festival <coughs> of Sham and Asim. Marks, characterize, grades, nose. It's uh, characterized, but it's eating fish, so it needs S, so characterize is wrong, although it looks similar to marks. Marks. We should honor our contemporary temporary, permanent, elderly scientist. We shouldn't wait until they die. So we honor them while they are alive. So it's contemporary, contemporary. The Champollion Museum is the man who deciphered hieroglyphics. Dedicated to, specialized, decorated, handed. It's devoted to, it's presented to. 
own or someone. So it's dedicated to. The government should set, set means put, goals to improve our living conditions. Set complex, complex goals, vague, elaborate, complicated. So complex, similar to vague or complicated. So it's elaborate, so clear. Champollion, Champollion managed to, to do what? The ancient Egyptians hieroglyphics in 1822. To complicate, decipher, complex, misunderstand, no, it's to decipher, to decode, decode, know the code of ancient Egyptian language. A is an organized procession, procession consisting of a series of displays, performances, etc., displayed by moving down in streets past a crowd. It's a description of what? Walking, profession, parade, parade, like show carnival or celebration. It's a parade, parade, celebration, festival. The pyramids in Giza are an absolute must, must what? It's an adjective. For altars, must, must so, must so, must see, must sorrow. Oh, it's must see, must see. It's worth seeing. So important to see. Egypt provides a lot of to foreign investors to come to Egypt. A lot of what? Facilities, documents, meetings, conferences. So tourists are in need, investors are in need of facilities, facilities. Let's go to grammar. Deduction. Deduction. When you deduce something, you have an introduction and you guess what happened. Models with modal verbs must, may, might, can't, and so on. Deductions about present. Let's begin with must. Must plus infinitive. It can be must be, must know, must see. It's not uh, must be only. We use must, not uh, must for obligation or necessity. You must study now. Must hear. Must hear is different from you must study now. It's obligatory, it's not necessary. But here you guess what happened. You are you are doing something wrong. You must be mistaken. We use must when we feel that sure that something is true or it's the only realistic possibility. You can say it's about 90%, 95% and so on. So listen to the following sentences. You have been working in the garden all day. You are working, working hard. So the deduction is you must be tired. You must be tired. She always wears eyeglasses, eyeglasses. So not sunglasses. She must have poor eyesight. Come. Must inside, must leave. Inside and get warm. You must be freezing. Come. Come inside, forget about this. Come inside and get warm. You must be, you must be freezing out there. She is sociable girl. She must make friends with many people, must make friends because she is sociable, sociable. Let's look, have a look at might, may, could. The, 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 they seem to be equal, but may is more formal than might and could. Not might in the past, it's different usage. We use might, may, or could. Might, may, or could to say that we think something is possible, but we are not sure, about 30% and so on. She's not here yet, she's not here. Where is she? She might be stuck in traffic, might be, or not sure. There is a knock on the door. I don't know who is knocking. So it might be, uh, could be, maybe my neighbors or one of my neighbors. Got it? He's not answering. He's not answering the phone. He could be in class. He could be in class. We regret to inform you that some services may be delayed due to the bad weather. I don't like the sound of the engine it could be it might be a mechanical problem we might be we may be we may need we might need we could need a uh, need to work through the might if we want to get this ready on time 
we may not like we may not like the shirt. I don't think it's his style. Let's have a look at the negative form, which is can't, and you can say couldn't. Can't plus infinite, can't be, can do, and so on. We use can't when, or can't when we feel sure that something is not possible, 100% not sure or impossible. It can't be far now. Why? Because we have been driving four hours. She can't know, she can't know about the complaint. She's promoted him to team leader. She didn't know. It can be easy. What? It can be easy for him. Looking after three kids on his own, it needs a mother, not a father. Let's go to models, model verbs for deduction about the past. We said for present, we use must be, must do, maybe, may do, can't, and so on. In the past, must have plus pp, must have done, must have been. We use must have plus past participle to say that we are quite sure that something was true or happened in the past, 90 or 95 percent sure. I can't find my wallet. Oh, I must have, it must have, I must have dropped it in the taxi. I'm sure. You must have had, you must have had a real scare when you saw a crocodile, the crocodile may have, might have, and so on. We're not sure with might, may have, plus past participle to express past possibilities. It's been three days, three days have, have passed. Uh, so they might or may have finished painting the house by now, but not sure. If they left at nine, they might or may have already arrived. We're not sure. Could have plus PP. Could have, similar to may or might, but we have get extra or slightly different. Could have plus past participle. The same means that something was possible in the past, or you had the ability to do something in the past, but that you didn't do it. So little difference. Let's have a look. I could have stayed up late, but uh, I decided I decided to go to bed early. So this is the difference between may, might, and could have. They could have won the race. What happened? But they didn't. They didn't try hard enough. So have a, another look at must have, pp, may, might have, plus pp, and could have, plus pp. Finished talking about uh, deduction, past, present deductions. Let's have exercises on grammar. I can't find my book. Oh, guess, guess what happened? I eat on the bus. Can't have left, must have, must leave, may leave, may have left. I can't find my book. I can hear your answer. Oh, right. We must exclude may leave because this is present and must leave. We are in need of past. She gone, gone. Here is the key. So it's past, not present deduction. To school today, it's Friday. She must have gone. It's Friday. Can't have gone. May have gone. Should have gone. It's Friday. So sure can, not may. He written another past. He written this, not present, because it's in French and he doesn't know French. Might have, may have, can't have, must have. He doesn't know French, so he can't have. Bravo. Monir looks so tired, so tired. He worked another past form, very hard. Can't have worked, should have worked, should have here for blaming or scorning, must have worked, might have, so it's, uh, he's tired, so must have worked. Basil went to the movies last night, but he, but, remember, but he, he had the ability, he stayed past again at home and revised lessons, can't have, 
might have, shouldn't have, could have. Oh, it's could have. He had the ability, but he didn't do the action. Sally looks sad and worried. She a problem with something. Must have. She's worried. Looks present. Must have a problem. Can't have. May have had. Should have. So it's so clear. Must have in present. Don't confuse with uh, must have done and must have. Must have. Must plus infinitive. It's different from must have plus PP. Take care, my dear. It's tricky. Number six is tricky. Sally looks sad and worried. Now she must have means must be in problem or in trouble. Mahmoud at school because he I haven't seen him there today. I haven't seen Mahmoud. So must have been at school. Can't have had. Can't have had. May have been. Shouldn't be. I'm not sure that Mahmoud is at school. I haven't seen him. Must have been at school. So may have been. The trick is here. I didn't say can't have been. If I said can't have been, it would be right. But here can't have had. Can't have had at school. It's not English at all. It doesn't give sense. Tamer is a very good boy. Is a very good. He is a naughty. Good boy. He's not naughty. So he that window mustn't break. Mustn't is not deduction. Mustn't is lack of necessity. It's something you you warn someone not to do. Shouldn't break, like advice. So may have broken, can't have broken. He's not not he's not naughty. He's a good man. So can't have broken. Right. I am sure the answer here. That I'm sure that I dropped I dropped my key in the car. It be there at the moon. Be there. It's present. Must be there, should be, might be, can't be, and I'm sure. So it's must, it's must. The street is wet, is wet now, this morning. I am not sure, I'm not sure, but it rained, rained last night. Must have rained, but I'm not sure, can't have rained, may have rained, should have rained. When you're not sure, use may or might. Omar spends all day sitting at cafes. He, be, out of job, he's sitting, he's sitting at cafes, cafe, he'd be at out of job, he's jobless or terrible. Will be, should be, must be, uh, out of job or uh, can't be, he's idle, he's jobless, so must be out of job. John said he would ring, but he hasn't, he hasn't rung yet. He forgotten, he forgotten all about it. Mustn't have, we said before, there is no mustn't in deduction. Can't have forgotten, may have forgotten, should have forgotten. Should is for blaming, you blame someone. John said he would ring, but he hasn't. Oh, he may, he may have forgotten, he may have forgotten. This is the answer, not can't have forgotten. We don't accuse him of being forgetful. He, the roasted beef, when we were, when we were out, he's a vegetarian, vegetarian and beef. Shouldn't eat, no, shouldn't, shouldn't have eaten, we don't blame him. Can't have eaten or must have eaten. So forget about shouldn't have eaten, it's not blame, shouldn't eat, it's not advice. He, the roasted beef, when we were out, he's a vegetarian, so it's negative, can't have eaten or couldn't have eaten, right. Mr. Ziad hasn't come to work yet. There has never been late. He has never been late for work. He, the bus, hasn't come to work. Might miss, must have missed, can't have missed, should miss. So he hasn't come yet and he's punctual. He's never late, so he must have missed the bus because he hasn't, he's never late. They are asking the way to the city center. They be tourists. You're looking, I'm sure that you're looking for must be tourist, but uh, the four options don't include must, can't, may, shouldn't, couldn't. So the nearer one is may be tourist because you may get lost in Egypt. She's not home, she's not home. She gone, gone to the store. She must have gone. No, 
well, well not the store that is uh, in the store now, can't have gone, it's not negative, may have gone, should have gone, or it's may, may have gone, not gone, gone. He had no money, so he used some. He had no money. He is poor, may lend, will lend, can't have lent, can't lend. He had, it's a past. So he can't have lent, he can't have lent. They all shouted in fear. They are frightened. They be, be very afraid. Must be, must have been, you're talking about present. They all shouted, can't be, be, can't have been, must have been. So the place of be is wrong here. They, forget about it, must be, very, must have been, can't be, can't have been. So they all shouted in the past. They all shouted in fear. So they must have been afraid. So when you think, when dealing with the answers, and you might, we all uh, do errors or do wrongs. So when you deal with any book, you can find some mistakes like this. You have the mind. So you can guess the true answer or the correct answer easily. I have become a millionaire. But I decided not to. I have become. But so I was able, but I didn't do it. Must have, may have, can't have. I told you before when you talk about uh, past possibility and you didn't do the action, so it's could, could have become. She done, done the shops, the shops mean shopping. Instead of her mother. She was at hospital, not her mother. She was at hospital, so she must have. Must, so I forgot have here. Because we don't have uh, must done, may done. So she must have done the shops instead. No, may, no, can't, right, can't have done. Because the clue is here. She was at hospital. She didn't leave the hospital to do the shopping, right? Let's go to the last point in grammar, different from uh, what, uh, all that we discussed, uh, deduction. Let's have a look uh, and revision for used to. Used to is so easy. We'll finish with it, inshallah. Used to plus infinitive. Used to. Past activities that no longer happen. My father used to work. Used to. Used to work plus infinitive in a bank. My father used to work in a bank, but now he works in an office. He used to swim. He used to swim every day in the past. Now he doesn't means doesn't swim. He used to be he used to be late. Look, be swim late all the time. No, now he isn't late. He isn't because we have be. He doesn't because we have swim. I didn't use the negative form is didn't use infinitive use to play computer games. I didn't use to play computer games, but now I do. Let's have a look at the interrogative form question form. Did you used to did you used to walk to school? Where did you used to live? He used to smoke. Can be he doesn't smoke anymore or any longer. You can use was, were, used to, plus verb ing, or noun. Let's have a look. I was used to. Look at the difference between used to swim, but here I was used to eating. Must be followed by gerund or noun. I was used to eating breakfast before I went to school. He was used to plus uh, noun. What is the noun? Oh, noise. Not loud. If you visit someone, if you did the action for one time, once, so you don't say, I used to visit my uncle last week. It happened once for one time, just one visit last week. I visited my uncle. Don't say, I used to visit my uncle last week. But you can say, I used to visit my uncle last summer holiday because it can be repeated many times.
Let's have a look. I didn't use to get up. I didn't use to get up late when I was in the army. Did you use to drive? Question. Don't say, did you would or would you used to? It can be. Don't say, I wouldn't uh, used to. Let's have a look at the following form. B, verb M is R, was or get, become, before used to, or accustomed to, the same meaning, to, plus uh, verb ing, gerund, or noun. I am used to playing football. She becomes used to eating vegetables. He is accustomed to the same, uh, like, uh, same as like, uh, used to. He is accustomed to black coffee, coffee, coffee. Look, you can use either would or used to, but there is some difference. Let's have a look at the similarity first. A lot of people would, correct, or used to, would live, or used to live. This, they are all correct in the desert. A lot of people would or used to live in the desert, right? When I was young, I always used to help my mother, but you can say I always uh, would. It can't be, it doesn't uh, make sense. When Ali was nine, he would always look, would always help. We can say uh, used, to, used to always help, used to help, always used to help. Look, when she was young, she would or used to, to cry. So when you deal with action verbs, like do, play, stand, uh, help, you can use either would or used to. Look at this. The pen, the pen is used to write with. Is used to plus infinitive. Is used here, used, not used. We use the pen to write with. The pan is used to cook food. The thermometer is used to measure or for measuring temperature. Look at the difference between used to and would. When dealing with stative verbs, stative verbs for sensation, senses, feelings, emotions, don't use would. Look at the following verbs. Verb B, have, love, hate, enjoy, want, wish, way, hear, cause, deserve, feel, etc. Our stated verbs can't be used with would. So you can say only I used to be. Don't say I would be lazy. We used to have a big car. Don't say we would have. Wrong. He used to enjoy a traveling. We don't say we would enjoy. They used to own big house. Don't uh, would. Don't. Don't use uh, they would uh, own. Did, don't say would. Did you used to play football? Don't say would you play. I didn't use to, don't say I wouldn't uh, use to get up early on Saturdays. So it's of great importance. Let's finish with uh, the following multiple choice. MCQ on uh, used to, would, uh, when they are both correct. We will see. My father in Alexandria when he was a boy used to be, would be, no. Lived, lived in Alexandria, used to live, is used to living, use, used to live, so it's completely wrong. When he was a boy, so it's changed, it's not a fact, so used to live, right. The children often help me to make cake. They still sometimes do sometimes. Would often help, wouldn't often help, used to often, A and C. Does it give sense, used to often? Because it can be used to, because often is similar to used to. Wouldn't, we don't, wouldn't often, so would often. This is the correct one, not A and C, like most students choose uh, this option, no. <laughs> It's a trick. When he got married, when he got married, he to, to Cairo. Moved, used to move, use, he used in the past, wrong. Is used to, it's 
in the past. So it's either moved or used to move. The action happened. We move into place for once. So it can be used to move. He moved, moved the action for one, once only. Did you, did you to study chemistry? Sure, did you use it? Did you use it? Did you used, used? Did you use, oh, right. Did you use? The knife is your knife is inanimate, has no habit. The knife is used to, is used to things. Cut, cutting, some students all oh, think is used to cutting. No, it's not a human being. So it's used to cut, cut, cut things, right. My brother is used to, is used to, must be followed by either noun or, or ing. Must, is used to help, helping, helped, helps. So the answer is so clear, helping. He was in the habit of, in the habit of most prepositions in English are followed by ing or noun or even pronoun. He was in the habit of work, works, work, working, working hard, sure. My uncle sit, sit in the chair and smoke badly. Would be, was used to sit, used to sit, didn't used to sit, and smoke and smoke the action happens it's not negative so used to is the correct answer my brother have have a beard a beard on his face but now he only has a mustache is used to have no longer have used to have used only so it's used to have past habit he used to be thin used to be thin but now he be be isn't doesn't wasn't didn't now now he isn't Sure, so easy, isn't it? I always lose when I played chess, played in the past with my father. I would always, I wouldn't always, I get used to always, I didn't used to always. So by sense, you can say I would always. We don't say I used to always or I uh, didn't used to always. I would always lose. I like, I like. The care my wonderful uniform at school, but I am a university student now. I would like, I wouldn't like, I used to like, didn't used to like. I used to like. We don't say I would like when you deal with past habits. I would like for now. So we can't use would here. It's used to. Oh, the lesson or the session went so fast. I am very happy. I didn't even uh, feel uh, any any anything wrong. Uh, I can feel your your answer without seeing you. Uh, presented by Ahmed Al Dasuki, teacher of English for secondary stage, Alexandra Governorate, Mid Zone Directorate. Wishing you all best of luck under super, supervision of. Mrs. Uh, Omaima Abdel Mati, an Inspector General of the English Language, and uh, Mr. Ahmad Fahmi, Mid Zone Senior Supervisor. I'm very happy wishing to meet you soon, Ahmad Al Bissouki, El Fawatim, Official Language School. Thank you all. See you next week, inshallah. خلاص يا مستر مستر مصطفى